Hey what's up guys, my name is Zenxo, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a professional looking logo for your YouTube channel. Now, you can also apply this method to any other social media site like Instagram or Twitter, but for this video I will be focusing on making a logo for YouTube. For today's tutorial, I will be using Pixlr, a 100% free browser software that you can use as well. In my opinion, it's just one of the best editing platforms out there, and I've been using it for a very long time. They recently updated the interface, making it even easier to edit images, so this really is the best time to be making a new logo for your channel. So, to begin with, you're going to want to go to pixlr.com, and click on Advanced Pixlr E for the free version. After that, click on create new and now you're going to want to choose the dimensions of your image um, you're always going to want to go with 800 by 800 pixels because generally for most social media websites this is just the default dimensions that you want your image to be we're going to want to turn the background off so that we have a transparent image click on create and there you go Alright, so when creating your logo, you want to decide what type of logo you want. A lot of people, including myself, have the starting letter of our channel names centered in the middle of the image with some effects, which in my opinion is the easiest to make and the best looking one. So we're going to be covering how to do that in this video. So first things first, you need to find a font that suits your channel. Go to thefonts.com, which is generally the website you go to to get different kinds of fonts. and I personally like the modern category, so I'm just going to click on that. You can click on any of the other ones if you want. And for this video, I'm just going to choose Vampire Wars. Download the font, drag it to your desktop, and extract the files. After downloading the font, you can add your text. Select the text tool, click on the middle, and click Add New Text Layer. Now I'm just going to use... Um, the letter R as a test letter, but of course you can use whatever you want, depending on what your channel name is. Click on Add Local Font in order to add the font you just downloaded. The font will appear at the top. Select it, and there you go. Increase the size of your letter to around 500. Position it in the center of your image. Now depending on the font, even though it's centered in the middle, it seems to be further right than left. Of course this depends on the font you downloaded, but if it looks like this, center it manually. When increasing the image size of your font, make sure that it is not too big. YouTube crops out a good bit of your image when you upload it to your channel, meaning if you make the letter too big, parts of it may be cropped out in the process. Now, a trap that a lot of YouTubers fall into is making their channel logo too detailed. You really do not want an overly detailed logo, since most of the time it only takes up a very small area on your screen. For my channel, I left the letter completely white in order to keep a clean look. If you want to go with this style, just keep the letter like this. But since I want to give you multiple options on how to create your logo, I'm also going to show you an overlay method. In order to apply this method, go to Google and search for texture. In my case, I'm going to search for a blue texture. After finding an image that you think would fit your logo, download it. In order to import the texture you just downloaded into Pixlr, simply drag it in. Click on Add Current, and there you go. You're going to want to resize the image so that it covers the entire letter. If you want, you can rotate the image so that you get a diagonal texture onto your logo. In order to apply the texture to your letter, make sure that the texture is one layer above your letter. Select your letter, click on the magic wand tool, and click in the center of the image. This will select your letter. Right click it, and select invert selection to select the outer parts. Go to your texture, and click delete on your keyboard. Now you have a texturized letter. If you zoom into the image, you can see a white outline. To get rid of this, simply delete your text. 
perfect. Now we need a background image. You don't want it to be too detailed, keep it simple. It should also be a different color from your letter, since you don't want it to blend in. I'm simply going to search for a galaxy background. When you find the image you want, again, save the file and drag it into your image. Click on Add Current, and here we are. Make sure your background is below your text. Also, you can delete this third layer. Now that we have the background imported, we can add some effects. Select your background, click on Adjustment, and click on Hue and Saturation. Here you can adjust the color, the saturation, and the brightness of your background image. Before changing the hue and saturation, click on Colorize. Then change them to suit your logo. Personally, I'm going to turn the saturation up a little bit. And change the hue to a darker color. I think this looks pretty good, so I'll hit apply. Now let's change the text. Click on filter, and click on drop shadow. You can change the settings to your likings. I think these settings look good, so I'll hit apply. Another great effect under Filter is Outline. Simply change the size and opacity to your likings. Personally, I would go for a black color. As you can see, the effect also extends to the sides. We'll fix that in a second. In order to fix that, click on your texture, click on your lasso tool, and select the place where the extension is happening. Click on delete on your keyboard, and it will delete the effects. One more effect that I would suggest adding is a blur around the sides. Click on filter, details, blur, and set the amount to 100%. Now we're done with our logo. Click on File, Save Image, make sure it's a JPEG file, and set the quality to 100%. Give it a name, and click Download. Awesome! We created a professional looking logo completely for free. If you enjoyed this tutorial, Maybe drop a like and subscribe, but for now, see you in the next video.